Hello everyone and welcome to the School Technology Report for Monday, September 20th, 2010. My name is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org. All right, let's get right into it. Today I want to review an iPad app. Now, as many of you know, I've been testing the iPads in my elementary school to see really how effective they are with the young students. And I've been impressed with everything about the iPad. And of course, that's other episodes and other reviews. But today I want to review, start reviewing apps for the iPad. And the one I want to start out with is the Number Sense HD. Now, Number Sense is available also for the iPhone, but anytime you see that HD, it means that it's been uh, upped for the bigger display on an iPad. Now, this is made by Mantris, and what attracted me to this was this uh, availability for kindergartners. I was really looking at something for the younger students to take on, and it looks like we have um, five games rolled up into one here, and that also kind of piqued my interest in saying, well, not just one simple math game, but actually five different ones. So let's take a look at how that played out in my school. All right, let me just go through my slides here. All right, so here's our first kindergartner with it now. She is taking on like a connect the dots that they have. I think it's called do the dotty. And she had no problem with the very first one, which was uh, one to 10. But now you can see from the screen that she has to start with the lowest number and go to larger numbers. So she had to start on 11 this time. Now this is only September. So these kindergartners are really still learning their numbers. And uh, this was kind of pushing her a little bit on what she was able to do as far as going to the larger number. But her crowd, there were some students in her crowd that definitely knew uh, that, you know, 13, then 14, then 15. And it was a really fun way for her to, to really get the sequence of numbers. So I really liked that one. That worked out great. And uh, here she is actually at the very first one where she was doing uh, 1 to 10 in a, in a circle. I think it made a moon there. And uh, you can see... <laughs> The iPad is an instant magnet for all the other students in the room. So as soon as a student starts working on an iPad, uh, everybody else around has to come see and help and, and work with it. Uh, okay, um, I noticed that just some of the number ideas were just a little too much for a beginning kindergarten student. So I took it then into first grade and I wanted to see how first grade uh, could deal with it. And this one here, they had to uh, gather the balls, a certain number of balls that they needed, and, and then they could feed it. To this little monster here so he's actually shooting the little balls across the screen and the monsters eating them and getting bigger and bigger and bigger until the monsters got this great great big belly and again very engaging for the students they they were learning their math skills without knowing that they're learning a thing and this is what we're, we're talking about with the future of education is this these games that teach that the kids just don't even understand or comprehend that they're having a lesson about something because they just find it all as gameplay and it's and it's great for them because they really do learn the concepts a lot quicker than out of a textbook. All right, so he's taking on another game here. And then um, here he is with that uh, connect the dots and he's doing the same one here where he's at 11, 12 and going for those, the numbers. All right, I took it all the way up to a, a third grade student who of course zinged past. Uh, he's on one that's gonna go from I think 21 to 30 here. Zinged past a lot of these ones and just found it too childish for what he was wanting to do. So definitely uh, my recommendation on this one is kindergarten, first, and second grade. They all love it. Uh, once they get to third grade, it's just a little little too small for them, a little too young for them. And uh, that's what we found in our, in our school and in our classroom. So I think they've... Let me go back to my screen here on this one here. So... Uh, the manufacturer mattress, they've done a really good job with this. It was stable. It worked well. We had it crash once, but once we reset our iPad, you know, give it a nice fresh start, which probably hadn't been done for two weeks, everything was working just fine on it. So we, we got a really good review out of this one, and it's certainly one that the kids are, are begging to play again. So good luck with that one, or a good job with that one. It turned out really good, and uh, that concludes my report for today, and I will see you tomorrow.